Hey, how's everybody doing? My name's Lex Coop and I'm back. And I got a question. Okay. A lot of people have been uh, aware of um, Raw Instinct's incident where he got caught uh, or he was forced with the accusations of ripping off other pe people's videos, constantly uh, stealing iFly's ideas, um, and uh, he also, T. Martin's ideas and stuff like that. I did a video on it like a while back. But... And also now I Fly Illini has also uh, gotten forced with, you know, personal life being thrown in the public eye. And he got basically he got caught uh, working, getting paid for masturbating on some sort of website. I have never heard, I haven't, there's, there's apparently video proof, so there's no way of him actually denying it. Um, but with Raw Instinct, he basically... He, he never really apologizes and, like, admits to stealing other people's ideas. He basically just says, I see how people can see that they're similar and, and whatnot. He, whatever. Anyways, the, the point is, the question is, after Raw Instinct got, you know, put against this accusation, this one video that, I think it's at like a million views now, from iFly Line about how he stole from uh, T. Martin and he stole from um, iFly Line Eye. And, and then he just up and quits. And he had like 200 and, he had like 280 or 270. And, and then it dropped down. He lost like 50,000 subs. But he still had 230,000 subs. 225, 220, around there. What would, in your mind, would give you the, the... Why would you quit? I don't understand it. Why would you quit? Yeah, okay, you got put in a situation where... Let's go under the uh, the assumption that he did steal the ideas. You have 230,000 subs. Is your pride that big that you don't want to make money anymore? Because they make money. They make, if you have over like, now this is just like a rough estimate. I can't really give a value. I probably shouldn't, um, probably not supposed to talk money because I'm partnered with Machinima. But you make decent money if you have over like 100,000 subs. You have, you make, you could make, you make enough money. If you have 100,000 subs, you make enough money that you can live off of comfortably. Not if you have like a family or anything like that, but you have, if you're living by yourself and he's going to school. So he's making retarded money for a kid going to school. And uh, good for him for going to school. And he went through college and took like a six-month break or some shit. But why would you quit? And he only came back because I fly, in a, I fly a light and I got caught with this huge shit. That's the only reason he came back. He felt like, oh, the guy that accused me of something is now, you know, in the gutter. So I'm coming back. But why would you quit in the first place? You have two, you have three, three options. Do what he did. T quit. He only came, if I fly line, I didn't get busted with something, he probably wouldn't have come back. So you, you have three options. You quit, or you continue doing videos um, the way you were and not confronting this situation. Or three, you, you straight up apologize and say, you know what, um, this is the route I was going with it. Um, I... I you know, I, I realize, just apologize. You you straight up apologize and say, this is why I, uh, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm sorry um, for stealing other people's videos. And you, you know, you change your style a little bit. You basically make everything that you do straight up creative. If you, because a lot of people do this. What they do is they watch other people's YouTube videos and they uh, they get ideas from it. It's okay to get I have an idea generate from watching somebody else's videos, but it's not okay to duplicate the video. So you make it your own. You gather information by watching other people's videos and you completely recreate it from scratch. All new ideas, you make sure none of it's the same, even though it's possibly uh, carrying the same topic. So you do that, right? You change your whole look, but you keep making videos and you keep making retarded money. I don't understand it, but his pride, he's, well, he's young, so I can understand him being like, not necessarily knowing the best route to deal with the situation, and his, his, in his mind, it was just to leave it alone. Now, he's coming up and basically saying that he quit because of school, but he was in school before, and he wasn't quitting then, so, whatever. Was basically, I, he quit because he was like, he was butthurt about getting caught. And I don't understand why why he did that. Now, I fly a line. I get caught with this whole 
this whole masturbation thing. Now, there's other YouTubers, I think, that have been, like, put in a situation and then just, just straight up quit when they have so many subs. Um, there's some smaller ones that only had, like, 30, 40,000 subs that, that, you know, got... But they... Those other guys, like... Uh, Anyways, you, you, I don't understand it, how people who have a good sub count up and quit because of one little thing. You did something wrong, apologize for it, move on. You never know. You could have ended up doing, like, videos with iFly, and then there would have been, like, this huge story of how, like, they had their problem. Or T. Martin, because iFly Line is partnered with... Yaosh and T Martin and Raw Instinct are partnered with Machinima. So maybe he could have like apologized to T Martin and you know made a complete public apology and maybe they could have been doing videos together as kind of like you know a shared respect after he uh, apologized. Maybe maybe nothing would have happened. Who knows. My point is is that why the fuck would you quit YouTube when you make so much money just because you're pride? A lot of people, there's a, there's two different types of pride. There's, you know, pride in what you do, pride in your work. And then there's like, you're too proud to apologize. You're too proud to admit you're wrong. You're too proud to, that's the one that gets people in trouble. It's not the, the other pride, the pride where you have, you know, you take pride in what you do. You, you really enjoy what you do. You, there's two different types of pride. And the one where people can't admit where they're wrong is the one where they get hurt and they get butt hurt and they get completely screwed over. So that's the question to you guys. I got a question for you on you know in the comment section. I want to hear what you guys think. Do you guys feel that you know the right thing to do is just to quit? I fly line eye. He could just make a public apology saying that you know he yes he did this for money and uh, he you know he masturbated for money on on the internet. Which I don't really think is that big of a deal. I don't think that it's really anybody on YouTube's business. So whoever like found this out and like brought this out, I'm not really talking about what he did. I'm not trying to emphasize on the, on the fact that he masturbated on the internet for money because that's not a big. Everybody masturbates, and he's getting paid for it. Who gives a shit? Um, people are trying to say that you know because he's got a lot of uh, YouTube followers that are probably children that they might go watch it and and blah blah blah. First off, if they if the YouTube children that are watching his videos have access to like X-rated internet, that's not his problem. That's his parent the children's parents' fault for not, you know, um putting like parental lock on their internet. So, that's got nothing to do with him. And if they're not going to find out about it. The only way they found out about it was because somebody let it out. They're not going to find out about it in the first place. It's not like he went to his YouTube account and said, Hey guys, come check out my masturbating video on this website and here's the link in the description. So, I don't know. So, here's the question. What would you guys do if you were put into either one of their situations? Either Raw Instinct situation or iFly Lanai situation. Actually, I want to hear both. Tell me, what would you do in both situations? I'll tell you what I would do. Raw in Instinct situation. And don't say the same answer as me. Or don't say whatever you said. Write out your own answer. Raw Instinct situation. I would publicly apologize. I'd be like, you know what? I was um, emulating or copying your ideas. And and uh, you know what? Uh, I, I realize that's wrong. And... Um, I'm just making a public apology about it, and and I would continue making videos, and um, I would, you know, say to the the people's names and everything, and continue making videos and move on. And you never know; they might come back and say, you know what, I accept your apology. That was very man, man you manned up on it, and you apologized. I fly Lion Eyes video. I would. There's not really much to apologize for. I would say, you know what, I I did this for money, and. Um, it's not really anybody on YouTube's business, so I don't really feel I have anything to apologize for. I think that the people that brought it to the light should apologize to my young viewers because they had no idea of it. So anyways, that's, I, I don't know. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't quit YouTube if I was either one of them. I Fly Alina has like 80,000 subs now or some shit like that. So he's doing really well for himself. Anyways, I want to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. This is Lex Coops and Ray Comp. Subscribe. Doochie doo skadoosh.
No, I can't do that. Beep, 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 be